Greetings, my name is Evelyn Yere Xavier, metric number 820A1326. Financial management is a combination of several processes of planning, directing, organizing and controlling the financial activities of an organization. Financial analysis is done to evaluate the company's business, project budgets and other financial related transactions. On the other hand, Corporate finance is a financial focus on a capital structure of corporation where the management will create an opportunity for the company to increase the value of their firm. Hafsing Plantation is a public limited company that operates as a separate legal entity from its owners and is owned by the shareholders. Bursa Malaysia has listed Hafsing Plantation as one of the largest and major producers of sustainable palm oil located in Sabah, East Malaysia. The vision and mission of this company is to achieve the highest productivity and to be the most cost-efficient producer in Malaysia. This company focuses on the palm oil industry's upstream activities whereby the company's concern is relied on the growing oil palms on its estates and harvestings and processing fresh fruit bunches into crude palm oil in its own mills. Sarawak Plantation Berhad was founded on October 28, 1997 as Sarawak Plantation Sendirian Berhad in Malaysia. On February 1, 2000, SPB became a public business and took on its current name. The group's main business is oil palm cultivation and processing into crude palm oil and palm kernel. The vision of this company is to be a fully integrated, high-performing enterprise with diversified business. As for the mission, the company wants to focus on maximizing their stakeholders' value through sustainable development by actively engaging the best business practices. My name is Shashwina Chitko, daughter of Just One Singh. My metric number is A208-2267 and I'm going to present about summarization of Hapsang Plantation Holdings Berhad Ratio. For the highest times is for the time interest ratio which is 17.52 times. For 2018, it is current ratio which is 5.48 times and the highest for 2019, it is 14.09 times. The lowest times for 2017 is 0.24 times. For 2018, it is 0 which is time interest earn ratio. And for 2019, it is total assets turnover for 0 0.20 times. The highest percentage for Hapsang Plantation is from gross profit margin which is 43.58 for 2017, 27.92 for 2018 and 23.19% for 2019. The lowest percentage for 2017 is operating return on assets which is 5.34%. As for 2018, it is written on equity which is 1.72% and lastly, 2019, the lowest is the operating return on asset which is 1.84%. Thank you. Hello and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Nafidawis Ibrahim and my metric number is a 1880378 and I will present about my part which is the graph line for Sarah Plantation from 2017 to 2019. On the left graph, we can see that the current and quick ratio decreased throughout the three years. Total assets turnover, fixed asset turnover, and time interest earned ratio decreased from 2017 to 2018, and then jumped back uh, in 2019. <clears throat> While the inventory turnover for Sarah Augmentation shows a steady increase until 2019. <clears throat> Gross profit margin, operating profit margin, uh, operating return on asset and return on sales for Sarawak Plantation in the right graph declining from 2017 to, to 2018 but the ratio rose in 2019 while an increased plot can be seen throughout the years in the net, pro in net profit import margin, net profit margin, uh, return on equity and return on investment. The debt ratio for in Sarawak uh, plantation shows growth in 2018 but it declined back in 2019. So that is all for me. Thank you very much.
is a with metric number A28, 20, A20, Horizontal analysis for Hufseng Plantation Holding Bar High. In liquidity ratio, the current ratio and acetate ratio in 2018 is better than 2017 and 2019. While inventory turnover in 2019 is better than 2017 and 2018. In asset management efficiency ratio, total asset turnover and fixed asset turnover in 2017 is higher than 2018 and 19. In capital structure ratio, in the debit ratio in 2017, lower than 2018 and 2019, while time interest earned in 2017 is higher than 2018 and 2019 in probability ratio the net profit margin return on equity gross profit margin the return on investment and operating uh, return on asset in year 2017 is higher than 2018 and 19 while operating profit margin and return on asset sale in 2018 is higher than 2017 and 2019 Horizontal analysis for Sarawa plantation Burha in liquidity ratio, the current ratio and acetate ratio in 2017 is higher than 2018 and 2019, while inventory turnover in 2019 is higher than 2017 and 2018. In asset management efficiency ratio, total asset turnover in year 2017 higher than 2018 and 19, while fixed asset turnover 2019 is higher. In capital structure ratio, debit ratio in 2017 lower than 2018 and 19, while time interest earned for 2017 are higher than 2018 and 2019 in probability ratio net profit margin return on equity uh, equity return on sales in 2009 is higher than 2017 and 2018 while gross profit margin return on investment uh, operating return on asset operating profit margin in year 2017 is higher than 2018 and 2019 Assalamualaikum, my name is Iza Zaika binti Shaiful, my metric number A20A1374. For liquidity ratio, Hubs and Plantation show the highest in current and quick ratio, which is a 4.73 times and 3.48 times compared to Sarawak Plantations. For inventory turnover, Sarawak Plantation show the highest quick ratio, which is 17.76 times. For asset management efficiency ratio, Sarawak Plantation show the, ra uh, show the highest ratio in total asset turnover and fixed asset turnover compared to hub stamp plantation which is 0.46 times and 1.08 times. For capital structure ratio, that ratio showed that Sarawak plantation has the highest ratio which is 17.52% while for times interest and ratio, it showed that hub stamp plantation has the highest interest which is 6.29%. For profitability ratio, Hubs and Plantation has shown the highest calculation in net profit margin, return on equity, gross profit margin, return on investment, operating profit margin, operating return on sales and return on sales compared to Sarawak Plantation which is 24.28%, uh, 6.51%, 43.58%, 8.37%, 22.5%. Five point three four percent and twenty two point three zero percent. Hi, my name is Nafarana Davidi and my number of three is eight two zero eight one seven nine four. Now I will present about vertical analysis. Absent plantation braha and Sarawak plantation braha in two thousand eighteen. So for the liquidity ratio, the current ratio, and quad ratio, show that absent show the highest result, which is five point forty eight times and three point fifty times respectively. You want for inventory turnover, Sarawak show the higher, which is twenty one point zero nine times compared to absent. For the asset management efficient ratio, Sarawak show the highest total asset turnover and fixed asset turnover which is 0.36 times and 0.79 times respectively compared to Hapsen. For the capital structure ratio, Sarawak show the highest debt ratio and time interest earned which is 37.33% and 2.60 times respectively compared to Hapsen. For the profitability ratio, Hubsen show the highest in the net profit margin, gross profit margin, return on investment, operating profit margin, operating return on asset and return on sale which is 7.45%, 37.92%, 1.82%, 25.98%, 4.90% and 25.98% respectively compared to Sarawak. Meanwhile, for the return equity, Sarawak show the highest ratio which is 2.03 compared to Hubsen. Hi, my name is Lokma Hakim Jasni. In conclusion, for liquidity ratio, current and asset test ratio show that Hubsen Plantation has the highest result with 4.82 and 3.81 times respectively. Meanwhile, for inventory turnover, Sarawak Plantation show the highest with 22.66 times compared to Hubsen Plantation. As conclusion, asset management efficiency ratio, the total asset turnover and fixed asset turnover ratio show that Sarawak plantation has the highest result with 0.40 and 1.21 times respectively. 
For conclusion, capital structural ratio, debt ratio show that Sarawak plantation has the higher result which 35.08% while time interest earn ratio show that Hapsin plantation has the highest result which 14.09% That's conclusion for profitability ratio Hapsin plantation show the highest in net profit margin, gross profit margin, operating profit margin and return on sale which 7.51%, 23.90%, 9.40% and 9.40% respectively compared to Sarawak Plantation. Good morning to Madam Azira. I'm Punita Balakrishnan. Number matrix A20A1911 would like to present on suggestions for this analysis. This analysis consists of three suggestions which is research and development, marketing, and management improvement. As for research and development, Sarawak Plantation Berhad should increase their R&D budgets compared to Hapsen Plantation in order to identify the breakthroughs. As a result of the breakthroughs, productivity has increased. As for the marketing, Hapsen Plantation and Sarawak Plantation Berhad can benefit from planter skills in bunch census and crop forecastings. In times of fluctuating, fluctuating prices, the loss from overestimating the crop and selling forward on the basis of bunch census numbers might be significant. And finally, for the management improvement, the industry's growth has outpaced the supply of experienced plantation managers. For some decades, estates have struggled to recruit the smartest individual due to variety of career alternatives in urban areas. Remoteness, frequent moves and hardships are not compensated by a big beach gained as they were in their predecessor days. Plantation jobs are, are not as glamorous as they, were, they once were. As for the conclusion, our group had choose two companies which is listed in Bursa Saham name Upsing Plantation Berhad and Sarawak Plantation from the year of 2017 until 2019. This analysis is based on four ratios which consists liquidity matrix, efficiency indicators, debt management matrix and profitability measurements. As overall, Upsing Plantation Company's performance is much better compared to Sarawak Plantation Company. In suggestions, by between research and development, effective marketing and management improvement, Upsen Plant Plantation Company and Sarawak Plantation Company are able to bring up their companies into a better position. Thank you.